this is Ed Ray again with a special report on this Saturday, the 1st of July. Welcome to your weekend reality. We've had a little discussion in the group that I've been working on actually for a while as an idea, but I have had two subscribers come to me and ask me questions about this, so I'm going to go ahead and explain it as best as I think I can understand it at this point. I usually wait until truth has been revealed to me 100% before I ever reveal, but I gotta tell you, this makes so much sense, I just can't wait. The Nibiru system that is being hidden in your skies daily are the key to the time and space lock you know as the moon. These are the outside forces taking charge of the construct, opening the lock, showing you the truth, letting you free, letting you free. The Nibiru system has came into the, the construct before during Sumerian times. The Sumerians came from another reality. The Jews came from another reality. They both arrived on the scene in their new reality, not realizing what was going on. The Jews wandered for 40 years outside of time and space, around and around the desert. It probably didn't take but a second, but it was 40 years to them. When they came back out of the desert, they went to their generals and said, General, General, I don't understand. We went to town and we were as grasshoppers to these giants. And there's just no way we are going to be able to make this happen. But guess what? Moses knew the higher truth. He was Mandela affected. He knew that his wants would be manifested by his knowledge of the truth. He knew. He had inside information. I believe given to him by his creator at his request during his wandering. Anyway, the point of the whole thing is Nibiru. We've all heard the name. We've all heard the stories. We've all heard the myths. Well, the fact of the matter is the Nibiru system is the key to the time and space lock known as the moon. Welcome to your new reality, people. We're going to open your eyes bigger than you ever opened them before. I love you all and enjoy your weekend in truth. This has been Ed Ray reporting for Mandela Effect News. This is how we did it in the SAG. I'll catch you next time. Have a fantabulous day. All you Mandela Effectians. Listen to this one. Listen. Yeah, baby. Broken dreams. You see? They know! They know! Listen! Listen to the words. I'm, I'm doing a little investigation into the words of songs. Listen to this. Dreams. We're living in a dream. We're living in a dream, people. They know it. They've known it for years. This is not a new effect.
This effect has been carrying on since the days of the Sumerians. The people that are in charge, that have all the money, have already done all of the looking around, and they know it for a fact, and they've been hiding it from you and I. Listen to the words to any song, it's ridiculously obvious. Okay? The Nibiru moon, don't fear it. Stay in observer mode. Watch all of it go down. You are immortal. You are not this physical body. You are conscious energy. It's why they hate us. We don't ever die, and they're stuck babysitting us until the end of time and space. Coming soon to an area near you. All right. Listen to that. They know. They know. Come on, you know they know. Listen. Open your ears to have ears to hear. Open your eyes. See things as a child again. Don't base anything on a fact or a theory that you learned as you were growing up from the construct. Come up with form your own opinions, your own theories, your own truths. You deserve more than what they offer us. This has been Ed Ray reporting for Mandela Effect News. We'll catch you next time.